Okay, welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to calculate the energy in a toroidal solenoid. In addition to that, we're going to look at the concept of energy density, energy per unit volume. So, starting out, we know that the energy of a magnetic field is equal to one half times the self inductance times the current squared. We also know that the self inductance is equal to the number of loops times the flux through the loops, the magnetic flux through the loops divided by the current that drives that flux. And then we also know that the flux, the magnetic flux, is defined as the strength of the magnetic field times the cross-sectional area of that loop. Now, the magnetic field of a toroidal solenoid can be calculated as follows. The magnetic field is equal to the mu sub naught times the number loops per unit length times the current through the loops. And of course, the, the number loop per unit length can be equated to be the total number loops divided by the length times the current. And the, the length of the toroidal solenoid would simply be the circumference. If we assume that r is the radius of that toroidal solenoid, we can then say the length of that would be 2 pi times r. Okay, if we now go ahead and plug that into here, and then plug that into here and so forth, we can then say that the self-inductance of a toroidal solenoid is equal to the number loops times the flux, which is the magnetic field, mu sub naught, times n times i divided by 2 pi r. That would be the magnetic field inside the solenoid times the cross-sectional area. So this together forms the flux divided by the current i. And then you see that this i and that i will cancel. And this n times that n will multiply, so we get L is equal to mu sub naught times n squared times the cross-sectional area divided by 2 pi times the radius. That's the self-inductance. We then plug that into our equation right here, which then allows us to find the total energy inside the toroidal solenoids. So the total energy is equal to 1 half times L, which is mu sub naught times n squared times A divided by 2 pi r, which is the length or circumference of the solenoid, times i squared. <clears throat> and then if we then go ahead and put everything together, we can say that the total energy is equal to mu sub naught times n squared times a times the current squared divided by 4 pi r. And that, oop, let me go ahead, make a better looking r. There we go. And that would be the total energy inside the solenoid. Now, what about energy density, the concept of energy density? Well, that's equal to, by definition, and <clears throat> let me write the, the correct character. We use the small letter U, so if capital U is the total energy inside a device or inside a solenoid or inside a magnetic field, then the energy density would be the total energy divided by the volume. So to find that here, we know that the total energy contained within the magnetic field of the toroidal solenoid, and again, just for so that we remember, if you can see how the current goes through the solenoid like this, if you then turn your fingers in the direction of the current, your thumb will point in the direction of the magnetic field. So you see the magnetic field goes around like that, and so the energy contained within that solenoid is equal to this, and so therefore the energy density would be all that energy divided by the volume of that solenoid. So that would be equal to mu sub naught times n squared times a times i squared. And I'm going to put a 1 half in front of that, pull the 1 half out again, divided by 2 pi r. And the reason why I'm doing that, because when we divide by the volume, you'll notice, so that's the energy, that's the same as there, just with the 1 half pulled out. And if I'm going to divide that by the volume of the toroidal solenoid, I'm going, I'm going to take the cross-sectional area and multiply the times the circumference that will be the total volume. So 2 pi r times the cross-sectional area A. <clears throat> All right, now notice that this A and that A will cancel. And the 2 pi r divided by 2 pi r, or I should say 1 over 2 pi r divided by 2 pi r, that means 2 pi r quantity squared. So this becomes 1 half times mu sub naught n squared times the current squared divided by the quantity 2 pi r squared. Think of, it, think of this as being over 1, 
to make it easier. And so you have a fraction divided by a fraction, same as a fraction multiplied by its inverse. And that's how you see that 2 pi r is multiplied times 2 pi r, and the a's cancel out. And that would then be the energy density, the energy per unit volume. In this case, that would be the units would be joules per cubic meter. And that's how we find the energy density of a toroidal solenoid.